In this video we're making a clay towel like this one I made earlier. We're going to impress and pattern in and maybe add some 3D elements. So we begin with our prepared piece of clay, place it in the centre of your board and we're going to roll this out um, to create a flat slab. This is called the slabbing technique. We start off by gently pressing down this ball of clay until it's maybe an inch or two thick just to make it easier for us to roll. So I'm using the palm of my hand and I'm just pressing down. And then I'm going to take um, wooden, wooden sticks, or wooden guys as we call them, and place them side by side. You don't have to use this, but it is much easier to roll a slab of clay with wooden guys. They're roughly just under a centimetre, about eight mil, eight mil thick. So we start in the middle with a rolling pin, and we gently move up and gently move down. We want to go Small movements, putting your weight into it. It's best to stand up for this, so you can use gravity to help you. And then we will frequently turn the clay board and put the, move the sticks, move the guides as well. So roll this up, and then you'll get a more even shaped slab or for your tile. If you find small air bubbles like on here, you can just pierce them with a pencil. So we're nearly there, just one more. And place the boards on there. So we're nearly there. So the guides work by stopping the rolling pin from rolling your slab too thin. You'll get, a, you'll get a lovely even tile that will dry uniformly and less chance of this warping. So there you go. There we go, we have a nice flat tile, tile surface. So we're going to then use a template, I'm using a round one that will fit the shape and to just score round the shape. I would not trim this now because if you trim this now and then you add your decoration you may find it becomes out of shape so I like to just score around the edges and you can use various tools that you've collected like stamps, African wooden stamps these are quite nice, um, either shells are very good, pieces of other items that you've collected make excellent texture. So when you're stamping in you want to make sure you don't go too deep you want to go maybe two or three millimetres to create a good impression. I, I like personally like to start from the outside, so I create a border first and then I work my way in. I'm just going to show you how to draw. You can draw with these clay tools. Every clay tool has two different ends. You might find um, a sharper end and a more blunter end on one side. They're very good for um, drawing in. I uh, will draw it in an angle if you want to do that and you can create different textures if you have a just a little experiment with the tools. If you want to use organic things like shells and leaves they're very good sort of rolled into rolled into the clay it's a lovely texture there and the sides work really well as well in these sort of scallop shells. If you want to add any 3D elements, um, I would use small pieces at first. You can then roll them into ball shape. And use a little, always use a little bit of water to act like slip or adhesive and that helps stick on the piece and gently press down. You can use, at this point, it's quite nice to use a stamp or something to impress patterns in. You can use coils as well to decorate. I can start off with a ball and then roll in the palm of your hands into a coil shape or if you want a bit more even, roll it on your board. And I like to make spirals. Again, place a small amount of water or runny clay slip on the back and place it on. Gently pat down to 
make it stick if you want to really make sure it's thick I, I always press in another texture so you can get around the edges for example when you've completely finished your pattern you can then trim you can just trim without the template now because you have your line it's easier to trim with smaller amounts and take bits off than trying to trim the whole the whole piece in one go all you can do is put your template back on top and trim around there so I'm just going to do this freehand You might find a sort of fairly rough edge, so you can go around your finger, smooth that off. And what works very well as well is using a tool or collected item and just impressing as well. I quite like the slightly out of shape patterns. I would then dry your tile on the wooden board, because if we try to pick up now, it will stick. So maybe leave it for a couple of hours and then gently peel it off um, or you can completely dry it on your wooden board. I would cover this with a little layer of a light plastic from a plastic bag and dry it quite slowly. If you want them to be war hangings, a good tip is you can use a paper straw and just create two holes that you can hang this off. And good luck with your tile.